Disclaimer, this recipe is double. I went to Ireland for the very first time. So today, we are gonna be making some traditional Irish beef stew. First, we're gonna season four pounds of beef chuck. We have six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of salt, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Mix well. Once the beef is evenly coated, we're going to cook the bacon. We have 12 ounces of chopped bacon. Put your Dutch oven to medium heat. Now, put in your bacon. Cook the bacon until it is brown. Mmm, smells so good. The bacon is cooked. Now, we are going to transfer the bacon using a splotted spoon to a plate. Alright, now we are going to brown the beef. Turn it onto a medium heat and make sure not to overcrowd the beef. We are going to be doing these in batches. Make sure you evenly cook all sides. Now transfer the beef to a plate to start the next batch. The beef is brown. Now we are going to brown the onions. We have um, vegetable oil and we're going to do about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We have here three large onions, white onions. The onions are brown. Now we are going to add in our six cloves of minced garlic. Mix that around for about one minute. We have four large carrots, four ribs of celery, and two large parsnips cut into half inch thickness. Over here we got eight gold potatoes cut into one inch pieces. We're gonna take all of this and put it in our pot. Make sure to mix well. We're gonna cook all of this for about eight minutes. We got all the vegetables in, and now time to add Guinness Extra Stout. We have two bottles of this. Once your Guinness is in, bring it all up to a boil. Make sure to mix well. Don't forget to boil this for two minutes. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now after it has been boiling for about two minutes, we're gonna add the rest of the content. So we have two cups of broth, of beef broth. We have three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Say that five times fast. Then we have a half cup of tomato paste. We have a tablespoon of chopped rosemary, several sprigs of thyme, and we're gonna use four bay leaves. Let's put it all in. Make sure 
to mix it all well. Incorporate all of your ingredients. All right, now we added all those ingredients. Don't forget about your meat. We're gonna add back in our bacon and our beef chud. In with the bacon. And now, the beef chud. Once you have all of your ingredients in, don't forget to mix well. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this up to a boil. And once it is up to a boil, you're gonna bring it down to simmer for two hours. The Irish stew is complete. Now, time to serve it. Careful, it could be hot. Whoa, look at that. In with a ladle. Ooh, a bay leaf. Now, the final thing left to do is to garnish it. We've got some parsley. This is how you make authentic Irish beef stew.